So to fill the landing page with content, I um, open the toggle block inserter here and here I have um, my patterns tab and I have all my pattern categories and for Maconi we created a number of pages um, ready to go with um, all the patterns you need and for the landing page you can go to um, you see this pattern to the magazine pattern magazine landing page um, one and you just need to click on it once and your content is added to the page. Um, you still see your title here, but uh, that doesn't matter. The title won't show on your landing page because you have your template large header and footer set up and not the default template. So um, you won't see it. So I close this toggle and I can update it. And here this filter content section is open in the editor so you can easily edit it. And um, you see it's divided into smaller sections and you can just uh, click onto one of the sections and delete them, of course, or rearrange the sections. Therefore, it's super helpful to um, open the list view because we have so many um, pre-built patterns inside here. So if I click, for instance, onto the tags here, I see that the tags sit inside a grid um, inside a grid container. It's also pretty handy to look here at the breadcrumbs navigation, but um, also the list view is helpful. And um, if I scroll, I see um, where I'm clicking with my mouse. I see it's marked blue. So to delete this section. I would go ahead and delete the parent grid container just by remove grid or um, you can also use the short codes. And then I have a double separator, which I also don't need, so I can delete that as well. So now I see I only have the categories active and I could update it. So let's have a look at the front page, uh, at the front end of the site. So. Um, the large header stays the same and then I can see my filtered content here already without the tags. I can close it and then I see one uh, featured post, a four column grid, another um, featured layout with one um, larger post and an interest section. You can use that as your about section too. We used it as a little promo for I know and another four column layout and uh, your newsletter. So this is the content of the landing page. And um, we started here using four columns and you can easily change that to three, two, five or six columns. And you can also um, show eight or 12 posts, um, whatever you like. You can delete sections. So let's see how we can do that. So uh, what else you need to do is by default, uh, we haven't configured the categories because of, of course we don't know from the demo what kind of categories you have. So let's do that first. For instance, I have my featured post here. And if I look, um, I always can filter the post via the query loop post. So I go onto the query loop post and then here in the block settings, I can scroll down and I see the query settings and here I can change settings. So I could uh, change the order. I could um, include sticky posts or I can filter by tags and categories. So for instance, um, if I wanted to filter uh, only the featured tags, I can do that. And um, here I have only the post showing uh, from my uh, that have the tag featured. So if I go into the front end, this is um, change as well. So this um, you need to set up for the landing page because obviously you will have different categories compared to um, to what we have in the demo. You obviously can also change the headings. Um, let's say you don't you want to have that top post or even something totally different. You can change it or uh, you can have featured 
post or feature interviews maybe and then um, maybe you have the tag or category interviews and you can filter it here under filter and then only post under your with the tag um, interview will show here uh, this section is a little bit more complicated because um, of the layout we um, needed to have uh, one post here and this is a section and that is a section by itself to get this kind of layout. So if I wanted to change this uh, featured post I again go to the query loop of this post so it's always the outer, um, the outer block here and um, I can maybe use another one of my categories say stuff picks and then here I need to go on each columns this is um, necessary to get this kind of masonry uh, style grid here um, maybe we will we can change that later to make it a little bit easier so you just have to pick one category or one tag but at the moment this is a little um, workaround to get this kind of style uh, let's say maybe you want only typography posts or do I have a category typography well I think I have podcasts yeah only podcasts here and then I go into that query and I can choose another category or tag and I will choose uh, videos here and I of course can change the heading you could also go ahead and change the size here of your headings of course if you wanted to change that and um, this section I will leave it like that but you could maybe um, use it as an, a little about uh, of your magazine or feature some kind of special content here or you can also delete it and then um, for the last section I want to show you how you could change the number of posts so you again would need to go to the query loop and here in your little preview you find different settings and the display settings here is where you can find the number of pages or posts or queries included so you could change that to 8 so you can show 8 posts here on your front page that is something you can easily change and then I want to also show you how you can change the columns so as you can see if I refresh my content um, everything is how I wanted it and I have eight posts now showing here but um, I also want to show you how you can change the number of columns um, so if I wanted to change the number of columns I have to go here into the query block settings and here I can find the columns and I could change that to let's say three columns or of course then for three I would also change this one to six so you can have a three columns layout or uh, five six columns anything is possible um, here maybe even some smaller posts would be nice so I could change that to ten and then we could go here to five columns So at the bottom of your layout you have some smaller posts showing and then I also want to quickly show you the newsletter. So for the newsletter we use um, MailChimp at the moment and it's a patching as well. So what you need is the MailChimp and MailChimp account. We will also support further um, newsletter later on but we use that plugin 
MC for um, WordPress, MailChimp for WordPress. So you have to set up this one and um, get your MailChimp key and include it into the settings of the plugin. And then you can chain, uh, you can use the, you can use the short codes for your setup newsletter. And once you've done that, um, you can just use this pattern here. And the only thing you need to do is uh, you choose your own newsletter. And again, here you can change the text and um, just go about whatever you want to change here and change your privacy policy link, obviously. Join our weekly newsletter. and change the text here. And you can also change, of course, the size of, of these. Um, although we obviously um, set this up that all the headings and, and things on the in the Maconi theme kind of fit together. But if you want to change the sizes of the headings, you can do that. And here, of course, you can also um, use that as your archive and you can link to your yearly archives for blog post. You can delete areas um, and just make it uh, your own content. You could even add some totally different content here. And uh, this one you can add further elements. So we added three posts by default, but you can also go ahead. And here it's again helpful to click on the element. As you can see, there are there's a grid um, with an item for including the heading and then uh, three columns. So if you wanted to add another author, you can just duplicate this grid. And um, then you have to change the size for it. So you can just uh, add this here and you would need to do the same for the tablet view and the mobile 127 I think is then 7 to 13 to make it compatible to uh, 9 to 7 to 9. So for mobile, you would need to get into the last one and say seven to nine. So this is how you can now easily customize any element of your front page. And um, it's pretty cool. So if you didn't want to have this filter content, for instance, you can just go into the very outer group, which is the accordion FAQ block we are using here, and you can just delete the whole section. And you wouldn't need to use the separator block, so you would delete that as well. And there you go, you wouldn't have to use the section at all if you didn't want to. Or you can maybe include it at another area in the bottom or so. You can find this uh, featured content element not only in your landing page page, but also under blog. We've prepared um, these same areas just as a separate smaller blocks. So it's easy to use them as well. At the moment, I'm still using the beta version for uh, 5.9. So some reason the view here isn't perfect. I think this is being fixed. So um, ignore that the length of these patterns in the preview isn't perfect. So yeah, this is how you customize the landing page. And yeah, let's go about and um, customize some more pages and set up more pages for Maconi and other blog themes. They all kind of work the same. You just have to um, look at what kind of are, uh, patterns are included in each theme.